I'm Patrick Bailey with iQlist. Today is May 29th, 2022, and in this video I'm going to show a double-sized T-Rex that has a thread on it. Okay, so this is the original one. Well, I shouldn't quite say original one. This is the one I have up on printables. The original one from MakerBot, uh, mine is slightly bigger. It's I think it's about 20% it's 20 bigger than the original one, and this is about as big as you can go on a Prusa Mini and have it work. So that was the plan on that one. So this one's already out there, uh, but the plan was to go bigger but to try to do it as simply as I can. So this one, I'm gonna assemble it. This will print in four parts on an i3 Mark III. So this is, this is not gonna work on a Mini, it's much bigger. But this is double the size of this. So this one's 240% bigger than the MakerBot one, the original guy. So this prints out in four pieces and they should be out there. So there's, there's the one piece, there's another piece. Then there's that guy with all the teeth. And then here's the, the end of the jaw. And these kind of print a little close and you gotta assemble it. And then also, I have all these pins. And the pins are the exact same size as the holes, but they can kind of fit in there if you squish them. You may have to uh, kind of clean it out and make sure it can get in there. And there's eight of these pins that I put on the file, but you only need seven. So what you're gonna need, I'll assemble it here. And these are kind of really meant to be guide pins, although it kind of holds pretty well just as is. So I can take these, you know, get them shoved in there, good. And then we can assemble these guys. Now the idea is this is, this is to line them up <coughs> because my intent is to glue this. So the, my intent would be to you know, put them in there, get them all nice and snug and glue it. Uh, but I'm, I may not do this with this particular model because the conference is coming up and I kind of probably going to leave it unglued to show it off. But I, <coughs> Sorry. But I think with the jaw, it's probably important to glue it because the jaw holds pressure. So it's going to try to squeeze it like this. And I think without it glued, it works. But I think over time, it's probably not going to like that too much. So there's that assembled. And then we'll get this guy. I think I got all three shoved in there and we can line that up there you go looks pretty good and also here's the screw i'm not doing anything with this thread yet but i also i think don't quote me on this you got to look at it. i think it's an m24 by 3 uh, thread and i included a thread in the file just for testing purposes there's no real reason to, to need this except for just to test that it really is that size and we printed this out and it works. And I kind of want to use this in the future because I think we can reuse this somehow to mount it. Like maybe we can mount it on a big, big something. But anyway, let's put this all together and kind of show it off. So we'll get that, boom. There we go. And you can see it's kind of, as it squeezes in the back, it's probably squeezing a little bit too much and we can see it's kind of showing Showing the fact of squeezing so those aren't lined up as nice as it otherwise would be. If we glued it, I think that would hold up better. But I'm going to probably print some more and take them to the show. But I, this one I might, I'm probably, I'm not going to glue this particular one. So I can show people at the show how to take it apart. Maybe after the show I'll glue it. Or if someone wants to buy it, maybe I'll stick it all together or something. Um, but yeah, there's it. Double the size. And I think it looks pretty good. And it's a little... It's simpler than the one I have. I have a giant one over here that I was fiddling with last year, Ugh. which is 300%. But as you can see, this has a lot of different cuts that I had to do, and it's just more complex. And I think I prefer doing it this way, where I'm doing it just double size. And it's a pretty good size. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so we'll see. And, and a couple things. I think I'm going to go through and do to see, to do this with a 0.8 nozzle, to see how well it looks, because that would be a much faster print. And then also I might come back and say, okay, based on this idea of these cuts, how big can I get it on the Prusa Mini? I can't do double size, but maybe I can, double size of mine, but maybe I can do 160% or 180%. I'm not sure yet, but that, I'll probably do that at some point. Um, but there's all that. With that, let's go over the details and all the numbers. Okay, let's show some URLs and go over the details. So, this thing was originally made a long time ago in 2014 by the MakerBot people, and it's one of the coolest things to print. It, it's, it, I, I like it. I've made a couple different versions of it, and with the help of some other people, like Britt Scott, 
we, I was able, I've been wanting to split this up correctly, but uh, the file would not work in OpenSCAD where we could programmatically uh, fix it. Uh, but Chris Scott did some work. I can do it now. So the idea is now I can programmatically tear it apart and put those pins in it. So original one over here on Thingiverse, made by MakerBot, brilliant design, love it. Uh, now I took that and I did make the same size. I took, I took it and upped it the size just a little bit, like I mentioned. And here's my uh, smaller one, you know, I should say my original size, which is 20% bigger than the original one, uh, and it's out there. And then here is the double size one. So here is the double size guy. So here's the T-Rex skull double size, and what it hap the files in here, there's a lot of files in here, but pretty much what you want to concentrate on is I have the STL files, I have the G-code files, I have the 3MF files out there, all redundant, but you can see, and I wish I could, oh, maybe I can order these. There's a 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03. You know what, I should probably, I think I can move these around. I'll try to do that later. But there's a 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04, and a 0, 05 uh, for the threads, for the, um, not the threads, the rods. And so I just need to print out each one of those. Now, and then I also added in there this one, it's not amongst the five, that's just the bolt. Just to kind of confirm that the thread's there. So there's all the URLs. And so with that, we'll just simply go over the numbers. So the numbers are fun. So I'll, I'll post here the overall number. But let's go bit by bit and talk about every single piece. So the skull back. So the skull back is, you know, this big piece up here. So the top of the skull, the back piece, that's the big one. 60 hours and zero minutes. It took 46.5 cents of electricity, and it weighs 0.4 new, 0.492 kilograms. And at $20 per kilogram, comes up to $9.84. So for that one piece alone, biggest one, $10.31. Now, the front skull with the jaws in the front on the top, that one, 35 hours, 30 minutes, 29.8 cents electricity, and it weighs 0.268 kilograms. At $20 per kilogram, comes up to $5.36. Total on that is $5.67. Now, the jaw back, the back part of the jaw, these two pieces, that one and that piece, the smaller ones, comes out to 15 hours and 42 minutes, 12.9 cents electricity, and it weighs 0.12 kilograms at $20 per kilograms, comes out to $2.40. So all in on that, $2.53. Now, the last piece, the front of the jaw, uh, 26 hours and 39 minutes, 21.7 cents electricity, and it weighs 0.2 kilograms, and at $20 per kilogram, comes up to $4 even, Total on that would be 422. And the last, last piece, just the rods. Rods, pretty simple, one hour and 38 minutes, 1.6 central electricity, and it weighs 0 0.01 kilograms, and I totally did that wrong. So that should be 20 cents, sorry. I, I wrote, my notes say $4, that's wrong. So just 20 cents worth of material, so just nothing on that one. Um, okay, so then all in, which I should have already displayed this, all in, whew, this is gonna take you a whole week. Uh, on an i3 Mark III because, you know, you're not going to sit there and wait for every single interval to be done and, and do it because you're going to be, you know, you got to sleep sometimes, right? So all in, if you could do it straight in a row, five days, 19 hours, and 29 minutes, and electricity is a dollar and 13 cents, you know, a dollar and 12.5 cents, really, uh, but we'll round it up to dollar 13, and it weighs 1.09 kilograms. So at $20 per kilogram, $21.80. So you're going to need one, more than one roll of filament. So you'll need one and a little bit more. So all in to get this giant guy, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. $22.93. And so you can probably just round it up and kind of think I'm roughly about 25 bucks to print this whole thing. And you can also think it's going to take you a whole week. So it's going to take you about probably seven days to get the whole thing done and $22.93. Now, another thing, if you're going to do this, I would, I would suggest, uh, well, having the pins is kind of nice to show people if you want to take it apart, but if you want to make it permanent, and I do later, or I'm probably going to make another one to make it permanent, you want to glue it together. And if you're looking around for glue, one of the best ones out there is 3D Gloop. You can go look it online, 3D Gloop, and they have a PLA, a PETG version. It costs a little bit more, but boy, I, got, I did a video a long time ago, you can probably go look it up. Man, it sticks. It makes it one piece, you know, versus, you know, any other kind of glue, any kind of um, um, super glue, it'll hold it, but nowhere near to the level that 3D Gloop will. So I, th I like 3D Gloop, costs a little bit more, uh, you can get different sizes of containers, 
Uh, but that's what I would suggest to really finish the job. Okay, so with that, this has been a fun thing to make, and I think it's going to be a big hit at the con. Well, last year at the conference, I had the big one, and it was a big hit. I walked around with it. People liked it a lot. But I only had one, so I couldn't sell it. So people were trying to buy it from me, but I'm like, eh, I only got the one. This year, I hope to get some more, even beyond just this one. So maybe I'll sell one to somebody. We'll see. Or, you know, I got this one now that I, eh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay, let's wrap this up with a reminder that 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge. You can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this, and you can teach others, and you can make amazing designs. So design it, engineer it. Hey, there is a fridge magnet competition going on at Printables right now. Unfortunately for me, I can't enter in any past things I've made, but luckily I have a few ideas I have yet to post. So I'm going to see how many I can add in there this week. If you have some time and inclination, you should do. I'm very interested to see what unique ideas come out of this competition.